Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 14 now, verses 7 to 11. So he told a parable to those who were invited when he noted how they chose the best places, saying to them, When you are invited by anyone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honorable than you be invited by him. And he who invited you and him come and say to you, Give place to this man. And then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down in the lowest place, so that when he who invited you comes, he may say to you, Friend, go up higher. Then you will have glory in the presence of those who sit at the table with you. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Now remember, when we get to a parable, many times the, the key point, the, 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 the point of emphasis is usually the last line. It's the last thing that's said. In this parable, it is as in the same case. It's the last thing that's said. What is the main lesson of this parable? Go back and look at the last thing and then look at the parable again. So verse 11, the last verse says again, For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. If you think you're going to put yourself in the front, be careful. Because Jesus is warning us that if you try to go up above your station, above your situation, you will be pushed down almost certainly. But if you start with humility, then you'll be raised up because humility is the place of service. Humility is the unselfish beginning. Humility is the, the starting line. We need to be more in that vein. Don't go and try to sit right next to the conference president. Go, don't go and try to sit right next to the famous politician. Find, you know, sit somewhere that's appropriate. And if you're meant to move up higher, someone will bring you and move you up higher. God is not asleep. He has, he has ways he wants to use you. He has people he wants you to meet. But if we're going to exalt ourselves, yeah, we're going to have our reward, and it won't be the one we want. So this parable it was said to those who chose the best places. And again, we should be wise, and we should be humble. And a lot of people think it's wise to ex exalt yourself, you know. It's to the strong, you know. The battle is to the strong, not to the weak. We're going to go out and get ahead of everything and I'm going to make sure I'm in the right spot. I'm going to put myself up in the front. No, God will put you in the front. And if you put yourself in the front in the wrong time, God might put you in the back. So let's keep our station. We're always exalting Jesus. We're never exalting self. And we're looking to be more like him. And he is the master and we are not. Let us pray. Your Father in heaven, how quickly we as humans learn to advance our own agendas, to advance our own plans and our own importance and yet, Lord, many times, almost always, this is simply not the way of your kingdom. Help us, Lord, to take a quiet, humble position. Help us to simply be hard workers, doing the right thing, and you'll take care of all the rest. May we do the right thing and let Jesus be the one who takes care of all of our advancement. Now, Lord, be our helper. Help us to be more like him, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. May the blessings of God be upon you today as you take this day and in this day live a life of humility.